Hey guys, it's Wawa. So today I'm going to be making a video talking about the positive attributes of an INTJ. If you're unfamiliar with the Myers and Briggs personality assessment, I suggest you research it and if you like it, um, figure out your personality type. It's a really useful tool to understand um, your personality and the personalities of people around you and just a useful tool in general. So yeah, I'm an INTJ and we kind of get a bad rep and uh, we kind of let our weaknesses overshadow our strengths mainly because we are so hard on ourselves so I wanted to make a video talking about our positive attributes because I feel like we're pretty awesome and why not spread positivity okay the first one is going to be talking about how we are high quality trustworthy loyal friends we kind of struggle in the social aspect of dealing with humans and um, yeah, we kind of have a problem making bonds with people and that's mainly because people don't really understand us and um, the people that we want to interact with, we kind of have a high standard of who we want to interact with and not a lot of people understand us on the level that we want them to. I found that with the people that I do call my friends, I am someone that they come to for truthful advice. Um, when we do give advice, it is typically advice that isn't very influenced by emotion. We tend to stray away from letting emotions find themselves into our decision making. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of people allow their emotions to become a part of their decision making and then people find themselves regretting the decisions they make. So for us, we are very fact-based and our advice is very logical. And because we are, um, introverted in, introverted intuitives um, we tend to think things through like really think things through um, and, and we can foresee kind of the future of when we give advice so when we give advice it's quite sound and it's something that we've thought about for a while uh, yeah also we are very effective leaders we tend to stay in the background in terms of leadership roles we are very effective when um, we need to do something because we are so goal oriented we research how to achieve our goals seamlessly so when we do see that a leadership role is not being done correctly or in the manner that we seem fit or um or we just see something doing being done completely wrong and the only and we see the only person that can do it correctly is ourselves that's kind of the only time when we place ourselves in those um as the face of a leadership role because we are so um, selective and when we decide to take those high profile leadership roles when we do we are very effective and we're very effective in the fact that when we set a goal we intend to achieve that goal and we usually do uh we are quite open-minded i know we have this rep that we are stubborn and we are stubborn but um while we are very stubborn we are very open-minded in terms of it kind of goes hand in hand with our um, introverted intuition we are constantly playing trial and error to many of our ideas that we have and when before we even solidify and idea as a part of our fundamental beliefs we don't do that very easily first of all and before we do that we try to um we constantly challenge those ideas so we're very prone to um, listen to other people's opinions and um, try to figure out how they came up to a certain conclusion and we insert those new ideas and conclusions other people's conclusions in our brain and that will go through the same trial and error basis and if we deem it to be something that can strengthen our main point we'll keep it and if not it'll go away but we are open to other people's ideas and i think that's really awesome about us um we're really resourceful especially in terms of the things especially in information that may pertain to a goal of ours we research and research and research we're the type of people to have 30 and 40 tabs open on our laptop and we know like everything that has to do with um, 
that has to do with a certain goal that we want to obtain and we research and research. I already said that, but we really do research. So if anyone ever wants to ask us questions on something that has to do with something that we're interested in and something that we feel will better us in the future, we, we can tell them anything and everything they want to know. Um, we have a pretty unique sense of humor. Our sense of humor is, tends to be a little dark and not a lot of people get it, but the people who do get it and the people that do enjoy it really do enjoy it because it's not, it's not really a common type of humor. And for the people who are close to me, they have told me that it's their favorite thing about me. So I do enjoy our type of humor. And for the INTJ friends that I do have, their humor is hilarious because it's like the same as mine. So um, yeah, so that that finishes the positive attributes video. I hope that all you INTJs out there feel a little a little good. I hope you feel a little more positive and just know that you are a cool person regardless of you know our weaknesses.